The Zero Hour pre-show of EW Forbidden Door kicked off with an electrifying match between the reigning Roe Women's World Champion, Fina, and the young prodigy, Billy Starks, in a thrilling Women's Owen Hart Foundation tournament showdown. As the crowd of 14,826 eagerly filled the building, Kelly enthusiastically pointed out Starks' recent accomplishment of graduating high school as the valedictorian of her class. Excalibur chimed in, adding to the excitement that was building in the arena. The match commenced with Athena extending a sportsmanlike gesture, offering a handshake to Starks. However, Starks astutely evaded Athena's attempt at a cheap shot. Athena quickly seized control, unleashing a flurry of impressive suplexes. A swift kick to Starks' side sent her crashing into the corner, prompting the referee to check on her well-being. Showing resilience, Starks made a comeback with a devastating Death Valley bomb that nearly secured her the victory. Excalibur pondered whether Starks had been playing possum all along, luring Athena into a false sense of security. Starks followed up with a kick to Athena's back, then swiftly ascended the turnbuckle, aiming for a high-risk maneuver. However, Athena countered with a forceful bounce off the top rope, thwarting Starks' plans. The ensuing moments, both competitors engaged in a back-and-forth exchange of dropkicks, showcasing their agility and determination. Athena narrowly evaded one of Starks' dropkicks, attempting a standing moonsault that Starks skillfully evaded. Seizing the opportunity, Starks connected with a dropkick while Athena was down, securing a two-count and keeping the match in suspense. Undeterred, Starks climbed to the top rope once again, eyeing a monumental Swanton bomb. Sensing the danger, Athena rolled out of harm's way onto the apron, leaving Starks crashing onto the canvas. With Starks reeling on the floor, Athena unleashed a knee strike, ruthlessly targeting her fallen opponent against the broadcast table. Athena then rolled Starks back into the ring, displaying her dominance. With unwavering determination, Athena hoisted Starks up and executed a sideways codebreaker, a move that left the crowd in awe. The referee's hand struck the mat for the three count, signifying Athena's victory in this exhilarating encounter. In the main event of the evening, the AEW Women's World Championship was on the line as the reigning champion, Tony Storm, accompanied by Saraya and Ruby Soho, faced off against the formidable Willow Nightingale. The atmosphere was electric, with anticipation hanging in the air. From the outset, Nightingale showcased her prowess, gaining the upper hand over the champion. Sensing the threat, Storm wisely retreated to the outside of the ring. Taking a moment to regroup, Nightingale continued her dominance as Storm re-entered the squared circle. A powerful dropkick from Nightingale sent Storm sprawling out of the ring, igniting a frenzy at ringside. Undeterred, Storm retaliated with a well-executed hip attack as Nightingale attempted to make her way back into the ring. The presence of Saria and Soho at ringside couldn't save them from Nightingale's fury as she launched a ferocious assault on the outside. Back in the ring, Storm delivered a snap suplex, seizing the opportunity to go for a pinfall. However, Nightingale's tenacity shone through as she fought back, slamming Storm into the canvas with an emphatic move. With momentum on her side, Nighting, Ale connected with a powerful kick, displaying her relentless drive. In response to Nightingale's offensive onslaught, Storm resorted to underhanded tactics, cunningly pulling Nightingale onto the top rope while she stood on the apron. Undeterred, Nightingale unleashed a thunderous Death Valley driver on the unforgiving apron, leaving the audience in awe. Seizing the opportunity, Nightingale went for the cover, but the referee intervened, instructing Soraya and Soho to exit the ringside area. With the interference removed, Nightingale attempted a high-risk moonsault from the turnbuckles, only to miss her mark. Storm capitalized on Nightingale's misstep, executing a devastating DDT, and following up with a powerful hip attack. Nightingale, displaying her resilience, kicked out of the ensuing pinfall attempt. Bloody but determined, Storm unleashed her unyielding spirit, and locking her in a submission hold. Despite the immense pain, Nightingale managed to find a way to escape, showcasing her extraordinary fortitude. Just as it seemed Nightingale might regain control, Storm cunningly pulled the referee in front of her, shielding herself from Nightingale's incoming assault in the corner. Taking advantage of the distraction, Storm resorted to underhanded tactics, gouging Nightingale's eyes while the referee moved out of harm's way. With Nightingale temporarily blinded and disoriented, Storm delivered her signature move, Storm Zero, with pinpoint precision, successfully retaining her coveted title. The arena erupted with applause and admiration for both competitors, recognizing recognizing the incredible display of talent and resilience they had witnessed throughout this unforgettable match. The AEW Forbidden Door event had truly showcased the power and skill of the women's division, leaving fans eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this extraordinary journey.